And now today, two of the preliminary hearing for Matthew David Stewart. It was a drug raid at his house in Ogden back in January that resulted in the death of Strike Force agent Jared Frankham. Now, ABC 4's Marcos Ortiz is live in Ogden with more on day two of this three-day hearing. And Marcos, uh, what did they say on the stand today? Well, you know, this happened about 11 months ago, and what I'm seeing in the stand, very difficult for these officers to talk about what happened that day. Very difficult because they were greeted by gunfire at the Stewart home. Undercover cops thought Matthew David Stewart's home was empty. They got a tip that Stewart was growing marijuana in the house. Police did a background check on Stewart. In court, Jason Vanderwarf says, quote, there was no information on Mr. Stewart that he posed a danger. A marijuana grow is not something that could be easily destroyed or concealed. But whenever they went to his home, no one answered the door. In fact, members of the strike force team thought the house was empty and was only used to grow marijuana. Anybody on the door? Get out! But that night in January, the SWAT team was met with a hail of bullets when they barged into his home after getting no answer. It was Casey Burrell's job to search the basement of Stewart's home, but he headed upstairs when he heard shots. He remembers seeing Jared Frankham, who would eventually die, firing at someone in the bedroom. He says, quote, he's on his knees and he's shooting. At one point, he turns his head back and shakes it. Then he looks back and fires some more. And then he testifies that Frankham runs out of ammo and Burrell tells him, quote, Get behind me. Stewart comes and shoots me, and I don't remember anything after that. Burrell was shot in the head and the abdomen and was killed when other agents were able to get him out of the kill zone. He says, quote, I almost got murdered that night. If it weren't for these officers, I'm dead. Now, in preliminary hearings, it's pretty much one-sided testimony. The prosecutors putting out their evidence to convince a judge that there's, this case should go to trial. The defense basically sits back, asks a few questions. We can't get any, perhaps, comments from the, pros, uh, from the defense in terms of their strategy, what their response is. They're refusing comment. They're saying maybe, perhaps, after this preliminary hearing. In Ogden, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.